Sojourner Truth was born around 1797 in Ulster County, New York. Originally named Isabella Bomfrey, Truth was sold at 11 years old along with a flock of sheep for $100. Sojourner Truth wrote about her life as a child in slavery and she talked about experiencing sexual abuse and continued beatings and whippings by her slave owner. Truth fled her master in 1826, one year before the abolition of slavery in New York, and eventually became a freed slave. After Truth became a free woman, she had the courage to go to court to challenge the legality of her son being sold into slavery. She was successful against so many odds, which is what makes that court case so amazing. Inspired by religion, she changed her name to Sojourner Truth in 1843. The following year, she joined forces with abolitionists such as Frederick Douglass and William Lloyd Garrison. Sojourner Truth became a traveling preacher, but also she was an early women's rights advocate, and so she spoke very forcefully for that as well. In 1850, she published her memoirs, and the following year, Truth delivered her famous speech at the Ohio Women's Rights Convention. The speech was later retitled, Ain't I a Woman? And it was so powerful, in part because it talked about the equality of work that was executed by black people in general, that people who were free and unfree worked just as hard whether they were men or women. Well, children, where there is so much racket, there must be something out of kilter. I think that twixt the Negroes of the South and the women of the North all are talking about rights. The white men will be in a fix pretty soon. But what's all this here talking about? That man over there says that women need to be helped into carriages and lifted over ditches and to have the best place everywhere. Nobody ever helped me in the carriages or over mud puddles or gives me any best place. And ain't I a woman? Look at me. Look at my arm. I have plowed and planted and gathered into barns and no man could head me. And ain't I a woman? I could work as much and eat as much as a man when I could get it and bear the lashes as well. And ain't I a woman? I have born 13 children and seen most sold off to slavery. And when I cried with my mother's grief, none but Jesus heard me. And that little man back there says that women can't have as much rights as men because Christ wasn't a woman. Where did your Christ come from? Where did your Christ come from? From God and a woman. Man had nothing to do with him. If the first woman God ever made was strong enough to turn the world upside down all alone, these women together ought to be able to turn it back and get it right side up again. And now they is asking to do it and the men better let them. Oblige to you for hearing me. And now old Sojourner ain't got nothing more to say.
Following the outbreak of the Civil War, Truth recruited troops for the Union Army and met with President Lincoln in 1864, who gave her permission to become a counselor at Freedman's Village. Sojourner Truth made a singular contribution during the Civil War. She agitated for black people to be able to fight for their own freedom. Truth continued to campaign for abolition and women's rights until her death on November 26, 1883. In 2009, a statue of Sojourner Truth was unveiled at the U.S. Capitol, commemorating her legacy. Sojourner Truth was one of the gutsiest women in American history, black or white.